So, you want to find out if your microphone is working properly? Well, I'm going to show you a quick way how to test it and whether you need to keep it or throw it away. Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf, the channel about motorcycle interests and uh, making motorcycle videos. So in this video, I'm talking about uh, lapel mics or any kind of microphone, but in this case, a lapel mic, uh, which I use for my motor vlogs and face to camera type of videos. Um, now I've had quite a few issues with a lapel mic and adapters recently. And the way to obviously test whether it's working or not is try and film some video and if it's working or not then you'll know if it's working or not now it might be a case that it's just a broken wire somewhere a bad connection or it might be broken at the connector part watch my other video uh, for to protect that by putting some tape on there uh, or it might be a duff head here a mic head um, so a quick way of doing it what you need to do is get one of these a multimeter Okay, very easy. And you just put it on the uh, continuity uh, scale here or rotation, and you're just testing. You're gonna put a small electric current through it, and you're just gonna test whether it's continuous, whether there is a link from point A to point B electrically. So this is uh, this is one of my uh, newer ones. So as you see here, I'll basically just take this off here. You can take uh, unscrew the cap, and that will expose the mic head there. So what you need to do is just, if I just move the camera down here. So what you do, you get the mic head and you get the other end of the cable. You get one end on the mic head here, like so, and you touch it and you touch one of the parts of the jack plug here. And you'll hear an audio tone that tells you that you've got a continuous link from point A to point B. So this microphone, as I know, is working and it is working electrically as well. So what I'll do, I'll put the head back on this now. There we go, and I'll put this to one side. Now I'm gonna show you a microphone that's been intermittent uh, at best uh, or sometimes just failed on me. I thought it was the adapter plug. Um, and initially I thought it was, and actually it was a combination of both adapter plug and microphone and what happens is when you use these a lot and you're stuffing them in a bag or whatever they can just get too much wear on them so again what you do unscrew the top okay and then we'll test it electrically so on one hand so i'll bring it down here again Put one end on the mic head one hand here and you're testing whether there is any ele electrical connection and there isn't there's no sound there is a definite break in this line now what you could do to further investigate it is to say okay well is it a case of that it's um a broken wire is a broken connector here is it a break along the line what you could do you could peel away a bit of the uh, insulation here and uh, you know, just uh, attach one of the probes at one end, and go to another end and attach. You peel away a bit of the insulation there, and attach a probe there, and see if it's a lot of break in the the cable. Okay, it might be a break in the cable that has caused this issue. Um, so you might just need to find out exactly where the the break is, and then chop that out, and then uh, redo the wire or something like that. Um, look, th this is one of those things where you're just trying to check, you know, what is the problem with the mic? Is it an actual, just a, uh, a dodgy connection here, uh, or is it an actual problem in the line? And this will determine whether you want to try and fix it or whether you just want to buy a new one. I think the, the easiest answer, of course, would be just to get a new one, the cheapest chips really. So this is a, a four pole, 3.5 mil jack plug and a stereo mic. Uh, obviously you can get mono mics or whatever, but this is what we're looking at here. And this will go straight into any kind of smartphone. The adapter uh, that you'll get with these uh, will change it into a three pole, a 3.5, and that'll go into kind of DSLR. Uh, cameras, your action cams, that kind of thing, with an external mic port. 
So it really depends what you want to do. do you know, do you want to keep this or do you want to, uh, you know, bin it? Anyway, so what I would say is invest in one of these and any time you've got a problem, before you start buying a brand new one, just check whether there is an issue with it or whether you have a dodgy connection here, uh, so on and so forth. Now, when I tested uh, my adapter, I had exactly the same issue, is that I pop that in there and pop that here. And on this one, because it's a good one, worked absolutely fine. But on mine, the, the one that was broken, there was no sound coming through as well. So there was no direct link from point A to point B. Anyway, so that's it. That will determine whether your mic is beyond repair or whether it's even worth uh, trying to repair it or just bin it and get a new one. Anyway, hope you found this useful. As I say, get yourself a multimeter, check your electrical connectivity of your cabling, of your leads, whatever it is, and that'll be a surefire way to fix a problem or enable you to uh, make a quick decision what you're gonna do next. Anyway, hope you found this useful. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave loads of comments, and I'll catch you on the next video very soon. Cheers now.